On this episode, we speak with Jeff Proctor, professional desert off-road racer. Introducing the Eyes Up series with Ben Grannis. The Eyes Up mission extends beyond road safety. It's to illuminate, illustrate, and demonstrate the benefits of life away from technology. When we put the phone down, it's a lot easier to look at the beauty around us, listen to the people we love, live life to the fullest. Hello, I'm Jeff Proctor, uh, team principal and driver for Honda Factory Ridgeline Racing, and I'm from Los Angeles. A wife and three kids, I've got a eight-year-old daughter, a 12-year-old daughter, and a 14-year-old son. Um, they have one at each school. I have an elementary school, a middle school, and a high schooler now. So cell phones for adolescents or young, young kids, it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword, right? Um, and it's the challenge that every parent has to go through, and it's at what stage, you know? How early do you give them the cell phone? How, how long do you wait to give them a cell phone? And there's a lot of peer pressure. There's definitely parameters that, that we've set. So um, you have to turn your phone in every night at nine o'clock so they can't have it. So they can't be on it all night doing whatever they're doing. So they turn their phone in. Um, we try to limit their screen time as much as we can. Uh, as we know, even for adults, uh, cell phones are a major distraction of productivity. Um, I do, yeah. So I, I think I get notifications on a weekly basis yeah. that says, your screen time's up, your screen time's down, that sort of thing. And it's usually indicative of how, how busy my schedule is and, and what I'm doing. Five hours and 25 minutes okay. a week. That seems more, <laughs> more um, real. So te I... text message is six hours and 28 minutes in text messages. Five hours and 25 minutes in Instagram. How do, when you see that, like how does, does, how does that, does that, is that surprising to you or not really? Um, so text messages, no, because I conduct a lot of business through text messages. So six hours and 20 minutes, that seems, yeah, that I mean, I've been doing a lot of business via text, but five hours and 25 minutes on, on Instagram, that seems like a lot of uh, wasted time. Right. If you look at like what I've posted and like what I've commented on and like what my engagement level is, everyone's kind of posting their best self in social media and you're not getting, you know, the the bad parts or the dark parts of their life and what they're doing to overcome it. You're just seeing, you know, them on top of the podium, right? So it creates a lot of self-deception. Uh, based on the content that they're consuming in China, only one hour a day, they say, what do you want to be when you grow up? And it's like, I want to be an archeologist. I want to be a doctor. I want to be, you know, all these like professions. And then you come to the, to the US where they don't have those parameters on TikTok and you ask an American adolescent, what do you want to be when you grow up? You know what the number one thing was? I want to be an influencer. It's not, <laughs> it's not helping society anyway. If anything, it's creating more to that, that you know, mental health issues, the, you know, the comparisons and you know, all of these other downsides to social media. Distracted driving is, is big for me. Um, I have a personal experience with it. Um, last year in February, I was driving my personal Honda truck, uh, stock Honda truck, and it was rear-ended by a gal that was texting going 45 miles an hour and I was at a complete stop. I think in today's society, I'll be the first to admit that we are the most distracted we've ever been in a vehicle. I think that the, the challenge of distracted driving is, is real for all of us, including myself. And after getting hit in that accident, it, it, it's kind of a wake-up call to say, hey Jeff, that text message, isn't important, it can wait. That yeah. productivity in the office isn't worth, you know, somebody else's right. life. Yeah, I think you have to step back and and look at, you know, what's what's the impact of that decision if you were to take somebody else's life. You know, look at worst case scenario and then kind of back into it. Is that text message that important? And I think the real answer is no. Nothing in this world is so important that you could put yourself in a position where you potentially could take somebody else's life. I'm Jeff Proctor and I promise to drive distracted free. To learn more, visit eyesupride.com.